My favorite part of the show because it's the one part I get to be selfish and it's Don's Don's dimes. They call me a point god. Um, Nick knows this. I've 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 been throwing alleys since two thousand six. Uh, clothes, women, Ew. fashion. <laughs> Look, we're, we're, we'll stop. Let's we're gonna stop. We're gonna oh stop yeah. There. But okay. We're gonna stop okay. There. But um, that being said, free aid, NFL free agency. We're gonna just dive in. Uh. A couple weeks ago, we were talking about uh, uh, Mike Tannenbaum and how we think it's hilarious that he is on television talking about football. So, you know, we're going to get this quick, man. I want I want your thoughts. For, for, first fire thoughts. I don't even want you guys to think. Just first fire thoughts. Two-part question. If you could be the GM for any team, what would it be? And what would be the one move you'll make? it will be shocking because you guys are going to be like, oh, Minnesota Vikings, and you'll be right. <laughs> you'll be right. I would stop fucking playing. I will stop playing and go get Justin Fields. I don't feel strongly enough about anybody in the draft that will still be there by the time we have a chance to pick. I like what Justin Fields did in Ohio State. I even knew about him since he was in Georgia. This guy has been in dysfunction in Chicago. He can throw that spiral. He has good size. He has potential. You line them up with Addison, you line them up with JJ. I think we're we're a ten win team. Now I'm not about to say we're gonna win the Super Bowl. I'm not a this this I'm not a delusional Cowboys fan. I'm not. This year is our year. It's not. That's not me. I just want to be competitive for the next couple of years. And we have a nice young core. We lost Hunter, even though I knew he was gonna leave. We don't have that much type of money to pay him. But I think we have. Some great supporting pieces. We have some money to go get some people. Let's stop playing. Give them a second round, a third rounder, and get Justin Fields in the door. Because I do not want J.J. McCarthy. Um, I don't want any of these guys that are just laying around that's going to be there by pick 10. So that'll be my choice. I would be the GM for the Minnesota Vikings, and I'll go get Justin Fields. What would you guys do? Go ahead, Rudy. I, 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 need, I need an extra second. I would. <laughs> Well, I mean, being that my general manager basically just gutted my defense um, to overpay a broke hip quarterback that can't throw a deep ball, yet he has the most electrifying wide receiver in football, I would do something that, I mean, obviously, if we're taking this from a perspective of salary caps are relevant or whatever, I don't know, because Miami has no money to spend. That's part of the problem. A problem he created. This is this is wishful thinking, Rudy. <clears throat> wishful, wishful thinking. thinking. I'm wishful taking. Thinking. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna have Tua sleep with the fishes. I'm gonna tie a rock to rock to his fucking leg and drop him in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, not really. Not really. <laughs> obviously, but I would be dumping Tua in a second. I would take. I would trade him to anyone who would take him. Anybody. I would take any number of quarterbacks over him. And you know what? He fooled me last year. He got me excited. He made me believe. And then he stuck a fucking knife in my throat. My throat, my chest, my gut, my back. He fucking went back to that guy from under Brian Flores who couldn't throw a 10-yard pass. I'm sick of watching Tua be this guy. Because if Tyreek Hill never came to Miami, there'd be no question that he was not the guy. Tyreek Hill made this guy look good. It's a fact. He changed the Dolphins' offense. And I'm sure Tyreek Hill wishes today that he was still in Kansas City. Because there's no way in the world that this guy is looking at this shit right now and saying, I cannot believe I'm fucking here. And the team that I left has now won back-to-back Super Bowls without me. So who would I trade him for? I would go back to the player that we should have drafted when we drafted him, and that's Justin Herbert. I would trade him straight up. If they would take him, I would make that deal. I can't imagine they would make that deal because Jim Harbaugh is now the coach for the Chargers, but that's the deal I would make in a heartbeat. Without a thought in my mind, I would trade to a, and get Justin Herbert. Okay. Because okay. I think Mike McDaniel is a very good offense. I, I think he's a very good coach, really. I do. I think he's creative. 
Now, I think he needs to hand off the play calling duties to someone else and be a head coach. However, his hands are still on it. And <clears throat> with a guy like Herbert, I, I think he can help make Herbert incredible. And Herbert's really good. People say what they want. I think Herbert's really good. And I think he'd put I think he'd bring him to the next level. So that's the deal that I would make. It would be Tua for Justin Herbert. Tua and his um, you know, judo lessons. He learned how to fall. He didn't get hurt. So he's tradable now. Because last year he was un- he was untradable. Who the hell would trade for Tua last year? That was concussed all the time. So he learned how to fall. Now I can go trade him to somebody. Okay. Okay. All right. This is what I'll do. I am the New York Jets. I'm going to go get Justin Fields right now. I need a backup quarterback. I let him sit there for a year under Aaron Rodgers. He's going to, I mean, deal with Aaron Rodgers shit. Aaron Rodgers one more year to Brett Favre. We're going to treat him like Brett Favre, get his ass up out of here. Yada, yada, yada. See how this year goes, how much it progressed. If we go on rolling, we're going to let Brett, I mean, Brett Favre, we're going to let the same person. We're going to let Aaron Rodgers carry us as far as he could go. But you know what? We're grooming this guy to be the next quarterback because we're going to have Brees Hall with him. We have a nice young budding receiver that's going to grow with him, and we're going to let that be our core. And that's what the move I'm making. It's plain and simple. We're going to go get Justin Fields. We're going to let him sit for one year. You're going to get your money. You know, we're just going to groom you. are going to let you t- sit behind a quarterback who knows what he's doing. Um, he's been around for a long time. And I don't know how receptive Aaron Rodgers will be to this. I mean, I don't give a fuck because I'm thinking about my team for the future and we need, to, we need to get rolling. We can't just be mediocrity, a team that's been in the drain, trash, boo-boo for the past, how long, 20, 30, 40 years? We had a little Rex Ryan phase, but besides that, we have not been very good. But we need to start thinking about the future. We need to have a, a plan after the plan, the plan was to get Aaron Rodgers, but we need another plan. And another plan has to be a, somebody that's going to be in line right after, and that person is going to come for cheap. We're going to throw a third-round draft pick right now, and we're going to be able to get him. It can't be much more than that. We're going to, um, He's going to be on the contract for another year. We're going to give him his little money next year, but he really hasn't you know, earned it to get paid a lot so we can still build our team around him, get nice talent around him, another receiver, a nice tight end and let him grow into being a great quarterback in the future, take his time because he's going to have talent around him. By the time he understands the game, you know how to read defenses and do things that well, now we can pay him money. He can carry our franchise to, to I mean, playoffs, Super Bowl, and, and beyond. That would like be the that. move I make. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Don's Dimes, you guys gave me some colorful things to think about. Rudy going to Justin Herbert, I think 90% of the offense fans will say that. Nick, you threw me for a doozy there. Justin Fields and 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 J E T S almost had one more. Almost you'd be changed. surprised. You'd be surprised. On there's a lot of Dolphins fans that absolutely love Tua. Like they are abnormal. It's they love Tua. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why. Because Rudy, he's better than than what y'all had for the past. <laughs> we we were we were we were, we were, we were, we were twenty five years. <laughs> we were ten and hope. seven. We were ten and seven. We lost our last three regular season games. He was a quarterback. Tough games. We had to win one game. Those were tough. We had to win one game. So thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. <laughs>